Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 3. Paddy does the one bro season 4, the one bro reborn, fear the one bro. Laura's here. Hello. Alright? Yeah. How's your nap? It was a good nap. Yeah, we had some friends over today uh, to see the baba. Uh, and she was good but very exhausting. Mm. Yeah, all four of us as adults were like, oh my god, I'm yeah. so tired. It's like, there's only one baby. She's incredibly needy. Um, so, since the last time we all spoke, mm. I've been a bit busy. Okay. Um, I thought, I know what I'll do, is I'll do a bit of grinding. Okay. I'll, uh, nothing that's going to impact, you know, my skills, uh, but I thought I'll grind through and I'll get some blood vials. Uh, and while I was doing it, I was picking up the simple bloodstone shards, the ones that uh, change your weapon to plus two, plus three. Okay. Uh, so, my cleaver's plus three now. Yeah. Which is pretty good. Uh, I think I'm one shard away from getting my pistol up to plus one. Okay. Uh, I may have bought a few blood vials. Okay. So I have 459. Okay. Of a maximum of 600. Okay. Uh, most of those from farming. I didn't uh, yeah. buy many of those. Uh, I have 260 odd bullets. Okay. I have around 50 molotovs, uh, six pungent bloods, throwing knives, who cares, and infinite pebbles. Okay. So I've been busy. Uh, I bought a lot of stuff, um, so I've I thought I'll do that and that'll save wasting. When do you get to go get more things for your little dudes? Uh, things for my dudes. Ah, that's interesting. So when you pick, yeah, look at him clap. Here we go. Like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> it's very good. Um, so whenever you pick up a badge. Uh, I picked up a thing called a sword hunter's badge. A sword hunter badge, sorry. Okay. Um, you want to fought the piggy. Right. There was a badge down there, and that allows me to unlock some new items. Okay. Uh, so anytime I find a badge, yeah. which is like, you know, a bit of string or whatever, um, I can unlock new stuff at the shop. Uh, I think the next one we're probably going to get is the sword hunter badge, which is after you beat Cleric Beast, and that unlocks the Kirk Hammer, okay. which is the sword that turns into the fucking great hammer, and a few more items. And whenever you do that, more dudes appear in the bath. Okay. So there'll be like three, four, five, six dudes in the bath when uh, when it becomes okay. appropriate. Um, that didn't answer my question, but okay. What? So what was the question? When Sorry. did you get to buy the new hats and shit? New hat? Oh, the messenger guys. Oh, yeah. you find them. Uh, uh, they're items that you find in the world. Uh, uh, and you do that okay. over here. Okay. Um, there's no messengers here. So, oh. and that will change the hats of the ones oh. in your world. Are you being a dick now? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's whiz over. Oh, hey, look. It's the insight shop, including this guy at the front who's like, eh. Oh, down. Yeah, it's it's the Laura. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Meh. Nah, bow down. What? <laughs> Meh. Uh, so, can I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I really enjoyed that. Um, quite like the Gascoigne gear. I think it's cool. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna buy the the, the shirt. Mm, actually, no. I'm gonna hang on for a sec. I'm not gonna buy it just yet. Okay. So uh, I have two ways I can go now. Yes. Uh, well, strictly speaking, three ways. Hey, look, it's the doll lady. She's not wiggling her feet. No. Um. Before we progress, I thought this would be a good time to uh, make some predictions. Okay. Uh, let's get somewhere it doesn't say View Spectre at the bottom because there's people in the way. Okay, here's a good place with the moon behind me. Okay. So, Ta -da. Ta -da, this is pretty good. So, I think it's important now. So, hi Pete, uh, at one bro DC, I think is the Twitter account now. Put it on the screen. Um, Cliff. Cliff did it. Um, so, Pete's been going to be running the death counter again. Uh, we're on to two already, I believe. Pete really needs to find a better Pete, hobby. you are going to have a bad time on this. Um, I Just for the sake of um, transparency, when I was doing my grinding, I died three more times. Okay. Put that up on the screen, Pete. There we go, three. And take it down. Thank you. Um, so we've got five deaths total right now. Right. I would like to ask you and... I'm going to ask anybody watching this, what? how many times do you think I'll die? And I will give you some information to use before you make your decision. Um, I, uh, I believe I am less good at this game than other games in Souls. Right. It is not as long as other games. 
it is nowhere near as long as Dark Souls 2, but it is harder. And you've never beaten... I've never beaten Orphan of Cos, and I've never yeah. done the Chalice Dungeons. Not past the second lot, I don't think. How many did you have on Dark Souls 2? Okay, it was just before... I think it was 970 or something. It was before 1,000. I think I'm definitely going to be in the thousands. Yes. I'm going to say... Because I will be cutting out deaths, but I will be... You know, bringing them up on the screen. I don't want to put them all in every time because that nearly killed me last time. Mm. Um, so I will be recording the deaths, but they may not necessarily be on the screen. Right. Um, but I will be informing Pete and with the videos of like, I've done this many. Yeah. So I'm going to say 1,250. 1,392. Okay. Well, it just sound, it sounds like a okay. high number. Um, if you would like to make a prediction, please stick it on... Uh, i tell you what. Pete, one bro death counter. Uh, I'm going to give him a heads up about this on Twitter as well. Can you make a pinned tweet for the death counter, please, that says um, official prediction thread? Um, and reply to that one with how many times you think I'll die. And I'll see when you did it, so you can't just do it on the last day and be like, <laughs> I got it right, because we can see what time you tweet. Um, if you are on YouTube, leave a comment here and say how many deaths uh, if you don't have Twitter, and we'll add it on to that as well, so it's all in one place. Um, and we'll do a thing. We'll do a thing together, and I'll, and I'll make sure it gets retweeted um, soon-ish on Twitter after it goes up, because Pete doesn't get them straight away. So, um, if you want, you can leave them underneath this video on Twitter, uh, if you want, and I will pass them on to Pete. I'm sure he'll see them. Um, yeah. Sound good? Cool. Yeah? Whatever. Do you think we're going to give people a chance to re to change their guess halfway through, or do you think this is going to be a guess at the front? No, I th I th it's always uh, nice to recalculate when you've got a chunk of the way in. Mm. So, you think maybe... So, thinking about it, we've got the main game... Yeah. And then we've got the DLC and the chalices. So I think once the main game is mostly out of the way... Yes. Then yeah, then, then, then people can Because I might dip into chalices a little bit before because there's some stuff in that and might out, come ahead. Yeah. Nothing yeah, too yeah. special. Whereas the main bulk is going to be after I've done yeah. uh, Nurgo's Wet Nurse. I think German and Moon Presence you have to do last because it launches straight into New Game Plus. Yeah. So you have to save German and Moon Presence. Yes. So um, once we've beaten Murgo, uh, which is the big hooded... Sword Lady. Meh. I think you've seen it before. Anyway, once we've beaten... the one in the top of the clock tower? Yeah. Okay. Once okay. we've beaten Murgo's Wet Nurse, we will do uh, a Wait. a chance to revise your guess. No. Yeah, top of the clock tower. That's right. Yeah. You go all the way up this horrible, it scary... Looks like hunter. It's like big. And no. The, it looks the, like, the, it's like the, a reaper. Oh, you're thinking of something completely different. Okay, then. Well, then I have no idea. You're thinking of Jura. I'm a, oh, I don't know. We can see him quite soon, actually. Okay. Mm. Anyway, I so that is... lady. No, that's a boy. What, in the clock tower? That well, that shoots like you with a big gun. No, not on top of that. That's no. Lady Maria. Okay. That's in the DLC. Okay. That is deep in the DLC. Okay. Okay, cool. Now we've finished standing still for ten minutes. Okay, let's uh, go do something. Let's play the game. So, what do you reckon? Do you reckon I go kill the cleric beast? Yeah, go on then. Yeah? Um, I was going to save the cleric beast. Why? Um, just part of me wants to come back to him and kill him with a plus ten weapon in like two seconds. But you do get a badge off of him, so you can buy more let, things. Let, let's, let's, let's go see how you deal against the Claret Beast. Okay. Um, I will say, before we do the Claret Beast, oh. I need to go for a little walk. Oh. I need to go and say hello. No, no, no. I want to show people something. Okay. Uh, something I didn't know you could do until very recently. Okay. Uh, so I picked up the old Hunter Bell, which allows you to bring in co-op summons right. for some of the bosses. Oh, and they yeah, added this in with the DLC. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so I think I picked it up anyway. Let me just double check that I picked it up. Because now I say that, I'm not sure that I picked it I up. I think you picked the bell up yet. Mm. Uh, oh, and I need to go check in at the um, the sick room where I started the game. I need to talk okay, to Yosefka. Yeah, you, the lady. And I can start sending people to Not places. sending people to the lady, are you? No, 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 no. I'll send them here except for dickheads. Uh, let's see, where's the ding dong bells live? I think you got the Ding dong bells, beckoning bell. Oh, I got the hunters. No, did I not? Old hunter bell, there we go. Okay. Uh, so basically, I can bring. Oh, there we go. Uh, badges. Uh, saw hunter badge. Okay. So you pick up the badge, 
and you, you get things. Uh, so I'm going to uh, dig into Old Yarnum. Okay. Uh, now I'm not digging all the way in. Um, I'm just going to get far enough in that I meet somebody. Okay. Uh, and I've already got the item Is here. it the guy that's on the ledge? Uh, paladin type guy. Alfred. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and he's, he's fun. I remembered stuff. Die, die, die. So plus three is great. <laughs> plus three is really good. Um, so we're going to yeah head off down into Old Yarnum. Um, not all the way in. We're, we're literally going to go ding the bell and come back. Okay. Um, sky. This sky. Um, something else I want to do is once I've beaten Vicar Amelia, who's the big white dog lady, um, I'm going to do as much as I can before progressing. Okay. Because everything's cheaper now. Uh, and plus, it's yeah, it's it's night, it's daytime, you know. It's 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 more yeah, better when the, the the aliens aren't around. It's better when the aliens aren't around. There we go. Are you and telling me it's not? It's easy to see stuff. Well, the next phase is just dark, um, and apparently, oh, hello. You aggroed before I noticed. All right, mate. Um, yeah, there's a couple. There's an area which I've only ever done in the darkness. And yeah. watching Ellie's blood level full stream, lovely Ellie Joy Panic. Go follow her on Twitter uh, and Twitch and all that stuff. She streams. She's really good. Uh, she's doing the blood level four as well. And she went there first. And it's bright and it's daytime and you can see things. Okay. I never realised you could see things in that area. So I'm going to be doing that. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. That would okay. be unique. Um, Have you had any other tips from Ellie? Because I know you've spoken and she Other said that you were stupid doing this. Be she didn't say I was stupid. Which she said I was stupid when I said I was doing the chalices. Exactly. She said uh, you were and the DLC. And she's like, no. Um, but yeah, this is dog town. Hey, puppers. I'm going to hide around the door so I can't get me. Dogs are very quick. I want to just think. So the, the guys at the cop with the guns. They hurt you more the closer you are to them. So you okay. kind of don't want to. That makes sense. You want you don't want them to do that shot at close range because it fucking sucks. Uh, okay. That's when you lose a lot of your house. So I'm gonna was around. This this went very well. Plus three weapons are great. Don't don't, don't say that out loud. Uh, no, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, I don't need to do that yet. So I'm gonna just whiz around this corner. Now there is a glitch you can do, which I'm not gonna do to get infinite, pretty much, fire papers, which are like the, the, the fire and the, the yeah. lightning papers. Basically, you can kill this man and then go to a different zone and kill a whole bunch of different people and then, without picking the items up, run back and forward about a thousand times and you can pick up like a billion of the damn things. Right. Uh, I think that sucks. I'm going to have enough money to, to buy them, so yeah, I don't care. Go. So I'm going to talk to this guy. Turn the volume so you can hear him. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred. Alfred. What a nice name. Hunter of vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. That, look at that beautiful face. I hope Disgusting the next game they do, whatever it is, oh, the Viking one. Very good. Elden Ring, the one that has been absent for like two E3s in a row, yes. and they're like, does it, does it exist? Yeah. Um, well, I'd rather they didn't tell you than keep hyping up something when there's nothing to talk about. Yeah, I think they probably shouldn't have announced it if it wasn't close. <laughs> I really hate when they do that. It's like, just be like, boom, here's this really cool game. It's coming out this summer. Because From are usually good with that. They announce stuff and it's out within the year. Mm. Like, it's like, boom, enjoy. They were um, probably given a hefty chunk of money to be like, hey, this mm. is coming out on our consoles. Um, so here's the thing. No, 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 let me finish what I was saying. Um, so I really hope with the next one uh, that they have it so that people actually move their mouths properly. <laughs> I don't know if they do in, in, <laughs> that you care about. in Sekiro. Uh, well, it's just fucking done. You're having a conversation and, and it's not even... I don't mind it being not synced up, but they're not even trying to make it talk. Wow. Uh, so basically, today, the and furthermore, I have no idea what's going on, but yeah, no, no Bergenworth reason. sucks. So now I've talked to Alfred, and he's my friend. Okay. Uh, may the good blood guide you. There you go. Nice thing to say. So uh, I'm going to whiz back. Uh, we're going to go see Josefka once we've done that. 
Uh, I'm gonna whiz around, gonna hit this switch, which opens up. Look at that God of War shit. Yeah! I love that dumb stuff. Now, there are a couple of men down here. You play Grid and Rat? I think it's just one. Although now I'm not sure. I mean, this, like, even like before they got like all infected and stuff, it couldn't have really been a happy place because all those statues look like they're crying all the time. Oh, yeah, everything sucks in this everything place. Everything just looks so miserable and not in like a, hey, it's like gothic Victorian London. It just, it's all, all sucky. Yeah, it's it's a suck town. Um, Can't exactly imagine them all having Christmas or anything. Because like, you know, oh look, it's a it's a wolf. It helps when you don't whiff. Come on, mate. Come on, have a go. Have a go. Have a go. What you got? What you got? What you got? Fine. Just stand there then. Take it. Yeah, you can't see this 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 street decked out in festivities and. Hmm. I mean, even look at all this horrible place. It's just horrible. It's horrible stairs, horrible boxes, horrible crates, horrible place, horrible. And I'm gonna break it. Uh, ooh, thing. Okay, uh, I think I want to go down the ladder. Can't exactly imagine any of them going like, I'm going to B&Q to get some bright pink paint. And they go, you what? I'm going to Victorian B&Q. Yes. Do you think... They don't even any colours. Yeah. That's not a thing. And here we go. We've made it all the way down to lovely, lovely Old Yarnum. But we're not going to go through the door yet. We're gonna go beat the cleric beast like you like you wanted me to. So we're gonna do yeah. that. Um, so, mm. I grab myself a little sip of uh, tea. Lovely tea. Any particular? Or you just just basic, regular tea. Basic just bit. Basic bitch tea. Um, I've got a few souls, so I'm gonna go upgrade uh, my pistol because I've got enough stuff now. Oh, hey, going. Um, the moon is close. It'll be a long it hunt tonight. Long hunt. It will be a long hunt. My one night is going to take me about because this, in theory, happens over a night. Mm. A, holy a holy chalice. Ooh. They're telling me to go to Old Yarnum and find a chalice. Well, the idea of them saying, "Oh, it only takes a night," means that you don't have to worry about like food or sleeping or oh pooping. Sorry, the pistol was already plus one. I guess I need another chunk. Okay. Never mind. Uh, can I put more gems in my stuff? Because you don't really like pass any rooms that are bathrooms. You pass rooms with like tables and chairs and lots mm. of boxes and, and, and vases. So unless people are, are pooping in vases like they do in Dragon Coast Builders, you're not really got a bathroom anywhere. True. These places all smell. Uh, I'm going to use this red jeweled brooch. Um, which is the one that the baby girl wanted from her mummy. Okay, yeah. Uh, and I'm like, cool, I'll give it to you. Wait, I broke it. Uh, and this is a very useful early blood gem. Which you can chuck into your sword, um, which gives you extra physical attack and boosts the potential to get uh, health back from your attack when you attack an enemy back again. Okay. Which is pretty cool. Uh, I was going to go spend. Hello. Uh, I'm just going to go do what I did last time, which is just trees spend. That you're surrounded by. Oh, what, sorry? Infinity trees. Infinity trees? Oh, these things over there? Yeah. Let's have a look. I know that's a very Dark Souls thing to have, like... Uh, I would say that... Oh, are yeah, they? Yeah. They're towers or something. They're probably more columns. I'm sure some weirdo has gone and freed the camera up and zoomed around and looked at what they are on YouTube. We can look later. Uh, no thanks to me. They look like... Let's just call them... They're trees. I'm going to say they're trees. Okay. Uh, so let's go to the first floor sick room again. Speak to Yosefka. Who is currently, I believe, real Yosefka. Okay. Uh, at one point, a bad thing happens, and she's replaced by an imposter. Okay. Because um, I think the way she speaks changes, and it's like, you're not the same. You have weapons now. Um, which is kind of fun. Yeah. And I didn't twig that, like, until way later. Because you find her kind of busted up, I think, somewhere. 
Um, and if you wait long enough, uh, when you go into that zone, she will be fully, you know, celestialed out on a table, just like having a brain problem. Um, so. Oh, well, hello. Yeah, look through the door. Can you see her? Let me ask you a small kindness. No. So see in that bottom corner of the panel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then tell them to seek you Sefka's clinic. Okay. On my Hippocratic oath. If they are yet human, I will look after them. Perhaps even cure them. Again, you can kind of manipulate the camera a bit. Beasts, this time the night long. I may be trying to. You can sort of see. Yeah, you got better. should do something to help. You can sort of see her face. She's cool. I'll even off them. So you can send people here. Oh, I thought she you did nasty things to people. Yeah, it's not a reward you want. Wait, it is a reward I want, but it's not a reward you want. Know what I mean? No. Um, so that makes sense, it doesn't make sense. It, it's a reward. It's a thing, it's an item that I do want, uh, which is okay, beast so blood you pellets. Get something for Yo, yeah, yeah, you do get that. stuff. Um, she'll give you beast blood pellets, which are apparently which are one of the things that make this run doable. Okay. Uh, basically, they put you into they uh, put you into beast mode, uh, and when you're in beast mode, uh, essentially, oh, hello. Uh, I'm just running this because the actual way to the cleric beast is basically this way. Yeah. Um, if you use a beast blood pellet, um, you take more damage as you attack, but you also do more damage. Oh, uh, and if like you use transform attacks, two. I can't remember what it uh, the bright bugs. Yeah. A bit. The bright bugs buffed you both ways. These make you take more, but you do more, so it puts you into like a risky mode. Yeah. Um, and if you use the uh, like the sorry the, the transform attack, boom, 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 it makes the gauge rise way faster. Okay. Um, and that the beast blood pellet is what puts you in that mode, um, and makes it doable. So we're going to speak to Gilbert. He's having a bad day. But he gives you a flamethrower. So he's in there having a bad day. Um, I'm gonna save the people in town later. I'm gonna find a guide for that, and we'll do that on another episode, okay. I think. Um, so yeah. But anyway, the reason that I went to go see Alfred, first of all, haha, <laughs> you died, is that now I don't have to fight Cleric Beast by myself. I can bring oh, Alfred. Alfred. Yeah. Just um, notice how detailed the lamp posts are, for God's sake. Oh, they're so good. Just even like the bottoms. Odd are wheelchairs crazy. and friggin' oh, so good. I mean, that makes it feel more a bit more like a city. It's just like like you find yeah. the little like, prams and things lying around. Look at this asshole. Look at his gun. His gun has a wheel. Oh, that's steampunk. Oh yeah, and he's got a Kirk hammer. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Go on then. Um, so if you uh, do him first, um, so if you do Cleric Beast first before you do Gascoigne, you can summon Gascoigne. Okay. Father Gascoigne will come and help you fight the Cleric Beast. Which is kind of fun, right? Yeah. It's kind of weird. Um, it's one of those little trivias that, again, I didn't notice until like my second run of the game. I was like, I'm sorry, what? Um, the hunt, he's kind of useless in the level. Um, really, he's he's coming on to help me fight the boss. So we're gonna just just chopper, chopper, chopper. We're not gonna fight the wolves. Don't fight the wolves. Don't annoy the wolves, Alfred. <laughs> Christ. Oh. Such an idiot. Oh. Like a third of his health gone already. You're an idiot. Like half his health. Oh, oh it's no, right. He used the thing. Okay. okay, he can heal as well. That's fine then. Don't. I tell you what, some of the uh, like like the the uh, cart you just passed, mm. cart carriage. Mm. Uh, it's very um, vampire hunter D. Oh, I can see that. The idea that they, yeah, they have like I can see that. big kind of um, caravan type carriages like so they could like get out of their problems and move around and see 
to like do stuff I'm while they're fighting like an asshole. Traversing this horrible world. Get off of me! Get off of me! I did that very bad. That was probably the worst I've ever done that. So I'm glad you all got to see me fail. Uh, right, let's sort my items out. I don't need the pebble. Uh, I will put the oil urn on. And I will put the monotov on. Okay. I think that'll do it. Right, um, good to go. Do I want to use a fire paper? We don't need a fire paper just yet. Actually, no, fuck it. Let's use a fire paper. <laughs> Let's really, let's really drop a, a train on this boy. Um, so yeah, this is Cleric Beast. Let's uh, see if we can do this in one as well. So Alfred's not going to come through until Cleric Beast's here, because that's a, that's a fog door. Yeah, okay. Um, so he's going to walk forward, and we're going to hear it go, Rrrr! This is cool. I do like this bridge. What a horrible place to fight this thing as well. Uh-oh. I mean, I, th I think, like, the first time they, like, announced it and the first time we played, like, the demo and stuff, it was just so different mm. to have something looking like that and the way, like, it's fur moved and stuff was really, like, whoa, this is... Uh, obviously, like, Dark Souls 3 is, is at the same tech and this is you played the other day that had, um... I think when you're on the island and they've got uh, the disease. Oof! What was it called? Alright, I just got up from in stagger attack on him. The thing on the island, I don't know what you mean, sorry. I'm, I'm uh, kind of like... you, you were a, a, a coloured lady and there was a religious cult and islanders. Greedful? Yeah, it's the one. They've got a similar looking, I want to say, monsters. You can see that. Those kind of skin beasts. Yeah, it's just the way the skin, kind of, bones, and some hair. Of the, the, the hair and things kind of flap around. Um, but yeah, when this first came out, you're like, oh, I haven't seen anything like that, or the way it moved and stuff. You're like, oh. Eat Molotov. Yeah! That was so easy. <laughs> yes! See how red he is. Oh, he's covered as well. Oh, he's Hello. covered. Oh, what was it someone said on, I think it was YouTube or Twitter comments, like, covered in pudding. Pudding? I'm um, covered in... What just kind covered of pudding, pudding. That's icky. It was like jam or pudding or something like that. Whatever it was, it was very funny. Um, just, just, I'm covered in goo. Uh, so that was, uh, that was nothing. Uh, I mean, I mean, if we gave Violet some red paint to paint with mm. and stood nearby her, this is how you'd end up looking. Oh, um, yeah. Prim, or if you gave her like some red food, Re this is how you'd end up looking. Red food colouring. Uh, no, just red food colouring. Just anything red, like just some red food. food. Just, just some, some ketchup, ah, and ah. just stood near her while she had the bowl. Yeah. You'd end up looking like this. Let alone the room looking bad. And now, all clean. Uh, so I've found the sword hunt the badge. So now this should be a third boy. Ooh. And he's holding. Look at them. They're all having a cocktail party. I've got a bottle. Like, hey. I've got a bottle. Do you want to? I bought some Jägermeister. Yeah. Oh. And now I should be able to buy antidotes. Didn't you already have one in your thing? I, can, I have them, but now I can buy them. Okay. That's okay. very good. Uh, this I want as well. The Hunter Chief Emblem. Right. Um, it allows me... Oh, I can buy the Kirk Hammer as well. Not that I can use yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and I can buy all of uh, his stupid gun as well. Okay. Uh, but I can't afford it. And frankly... Well, I can afford it. But I don't have the stats. And I okay. will never have the stats to wield this thing. Um, um, so, I want to save up because I need this. Right. It costs 10,000. Okay. So I'm going to pop some goo... I've got some goo. I only used one. Oh. Welcome to the true Dark Souls. Using one of an item when you wanted to use all of them. So I need 10,000. Let's see if we can get 10,000. Thick Cold Blood 5. That's pretty worth it. That's got to be big, right? Oh, I'm not going to do it, am I? 
Come on, cold blood you. Give me some. <sighs> All right. Um, I don't want to sell anything particularly. Yeah, uh, so I'm just going to have a very quick run. Just a very quick run on a couple of things did, did, kill did, easily. Did, did we have a question? For, I mean, what, what, half an hour? How, how far are we? Yeah, what does the recording say? I can't see it from here. I, I, I don't have to get up and Go and check. What, what, just look at Audacity and see how long the recording's been going. Uh, about 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Well, I'll tell you what, let's, let's do this, get that item, and then we'll do a new episode, and then we'll do a question. Okay. Because this was the Guessing Bosses and Cleric Beast episode, because I, I did not expect to beat him on that go. Okay. I mean... I did in a way because I had all the bonuses and stuff, but I shouldn't really have used that fire paper. That was a little bit wasteful. Frivolous. Yeah, I had the helper and I had all the oil urns and I had all the fire bombs. But, but you're like, fuck it, let's get this done. Let's rush this idiot down. Um, so I'm going to show you what I my well, I'll show you a little bit of my farming run. Uh, well, so no, was... I'm pretty sure I saw some of your farming run. Mm. And I so just running around, get these two boys. What? Nothing. Are you laughing at me beating up the handicapped again? No, no. Uh, this is then. This is fair. I said that I didn't care, and you continue to talk about it anyway. Well, because this is a show. I can't just not talk. You with people are watching. Well, Laura's wrong. Maybe they just put it in the background because they've got no better thing, nothing better in their life to look at. Uh, like, oh, I'm... Second Pete did say that there was a uh, Laura is wrong shocker about Blood Ball's story being bad. He was very disappointed in you. Oh, really? Well, then he obviously sucks if he thinks I'm wrong about that. This Be nice suck. to this, second this Pete. This suck. This is not, like... It's Dark Souls, yes. And if you like the Dark Souls story stuff, good for you. You're an idiot. Um, but it's not good. It, like I said, it, I think it could be, like, more... What am I stuck on? Um, understandable, but it get yeah. You get a little baby in, like even sorry, already, a little a little baby, a little baby in, um, <laughs> little wee baby in, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then it suddenly starts <coughs> immediately turning into cults, and then you got the aliens, and you're like, oh for fuck's sake, Dark Souls. I will say, you are mental. No, I'm not. Just have a simple you thought. Are Just mad. be like, hey, look. The we're internet kind of vampires. is. The internet and these guys is are kind of werewolves. Gonna hate you. And we're just gonna fight, because that's what happens. You are in trouble. I don't care. You are. It's rubbish. Incorrigibly it terrible. Is rubbish. You, oh. It could have been like a, a really good, like, Vampire Hunter D type story, where a guy turns up and there's a problem, and he helps solve it, and then he leaves. I'm really sorry, everyone. It's Rubbish. I'm really, I'm I mean, the really game sorry. Looks nice, I'm, I'm... But like the story just sucks, and they add in all this extra crap, and you're like, oh hey, here's a crying baby for no apparent reason. Please forgive us. Oh, here's another boss Please box that's made her. of bits she... because you know we can't think of anything else to do. She doesn't know what she's saying. Oh, here's a spider on a lake. Oh great, woo! You know it oh, it just sucks. It sucks. Please forgive her. Just, She's. It's just like they've taken a, like a thirteen-year-old boy's like school book where he's I'm just sorry, written and scribbled down all these stupid ideas and gone like, "This is a really good thing." You're like, "No, this is a bunch of just crap that you melded together." Don't. It is. No, I'm not. Gonna, <laughs> I'm not wrong about this. Do you want to rant some more? Because there's some other stuff we could do on the episode if you want to rant some more. No. You okay. sure? Because like, there's some other stuff in that first level we never did. I can run on another episode. You sure? Because yeah. you're gonna you're gonna piss all over another episode. Yeah, I'm alright. You sure? Oh, I, you've got a many episodes of me pissing all over this game because once again, fuck you, Dark Souls. Or did you just run out of puff and you don't want to admit it? No, I haven't run out of puff. It's rubbish. So that was episode three. <laughs> Sorry, everyone, that it took a turn at the end there. Um. <laughs> I, I wanted to and end this one on a higher. I, 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 I killed the you boss. You will hear my opinion whether you like it or killed not. Killed the boss and uh, I didn't, I didn't oh. die. Killed the boss, didn't die, but um, Laura's upset and uh, <laughs> that's. Uh, I guess I'm just going to sit here next to this goo. Um, I hope well, you enjoy the rest of your day. Those pencils. No, it's blood. 
Someone died here. I just thought it was a nice place to sit. Because it looks pretty. Although it probably sucks because if some 13 year old boy has drawn some petals in blood. Oh my god, such a 13 year old boy thing to do. Thank you everyone for watching episode 3. Remember, leave your uh, death predictions in the Twitter or the YouTube comments and uh, I will make sure Pete puts together a pinned tweet on One Bro Death Counter. Please follow One Bro Death Counter. Then you can watch and you can track it. Uh, and he only tweets about when I die. It's quite interesting. I'm going to retweet it anyway. What, Laura? She's smiling and giggling. What? From this angle, she's having a really bad period at the back there. I'm sorry. 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 Turns out the, the the thing that broke me wasn't wasn't Orphan of Cars. It wasn't the fucking game. It was my wife's bad comments about periods. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that a taboo subject? She's oh, a terrible. doll. She can't even have a gusher. A gusher. Stop. A gusher. She's, right. Bye, everyone. <laughs>